Hey, I'm Tom and welcome to the channel. If you follow me over on Instagram, uh, you probably saw that last week I was down in Snowshoe, West Virginia for the annual ETP Cycling Team Camp. So it was four days of some pretty epic rides, a ton of mileage, and a ridiculous amount of climbing. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably should. The link's right here. Um, but anyways, um, while we were down there in West Virginia, you know, there was a lot of really nice mountain segments um, for, for some epic climbs. And so, you know, looking through Strava, um, we kind of pinpointed a few that we wanted to target for uh, KOMs or King of the Mountains. Um, and so there was one segment in particular that piqued my interest, and that was this Snowshoe Mountain KOM. Um, so Snowshoe Mountain, you know, it's a, it's a ski resort. Um, so it's this mountain, it's a, it's a seven mile segment um, at an average gradient of 4.7%. Um, but really, it's kind of broken up into two different sections. You've got the first five miles, which are significantly steeper than four and a half percent. And then you've got the last two miles, which is really at the up at the top of the mountain where um, the ski resort is and then the ski village um, and all the restaurants and shops and that that sort of stuff. Um, and so that part, it's, it's still climbing, but it's a little bit um, more shallow than, than the first five miles of the climb. And so what really interests me about this climb is it has a pretty prestigious leaderboard. Um, up at the top there, you have a, uh, a national champion in the mountain bike, mountain bike discipline. Um, and then just below him, you've got uh, Joe Dombrowski, who is a UCI World Tour Pro, um, currently riding for uh, Team Astana. Um, so, you know, I thought it'd be pretty cool um, if I could get my name up there and mix it up with some of these uh, uh, high-performing cyclists. Um, and so, you know, I went through some of the, their, their Strava profiles and looked at their segments, um, checked out the times, checked out their power profiles, and, um, you know, I said, yeah, I think I actually have a shot at that. I think I can do those kind of numbers. So I gave it a go. Um, and that's what you're going to see here in just a second um, is the full video of the Snowshoe Mountain KOM um, with the full um, spec overlay. So I'll have all of my stats up on the screen. We've got power, elevation, heart rate, um, and you can check it out, watch the entire video. Um, if you don't want to watch the entire video and you just want to jump to the end, um, if you go to the last two minutes or so, um, I'll give you some, some spoilers and a little bit of a breakdown of, of how the run went. Um, but I encourage you to check it out. Um, if you like what you see, if you have any questions, um, put them in the comments, like, subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, it starts right here.
Thank you.
Yeah. Woo! 29.38 on the Garmin. That should get it. Oh, legs feel like garbage. I got it. Oh man. Oh, I'm gonna roll back away for these guys. So there you have it. Um, I made it up uh, the Snowshoe KOM in just under 30 minutes, so 29 minutes and 38 seconds. Um, and this was indeed good enough for um, the KOM, so the fastest time up the Snowshoe Mountain segment. Um, if we dig into the, uh, the Strava numbers here in a little bit more detail, um, you can see, right, so seven mile segment, 4.7% average gradient, time of 29 minutes and 38 seconds. Um, and then I've got all my power stats right here. So 355 watt average power for that uh, almost 30 minute segment. That puts me right at uh, five watts per kg, um, which is right around where, where I expected to be. That was kind of my, my target power. Um, so, you know, I've got all the stats here. Um, feel free to hop on my Strava and check it out. This is all public. Um, and again, um, if you have any comments, questions, put them in the comment section below. Um, if you like what you see, you wanna see more of it, give me a like and subscribe. Um, and again, I encourage you, um, uh, check me out over on Instagram. Thanks. And we'll see you next time.